There's nothing like selling your home that gives you a kick up the bum to tidy, organize, and declutter your home. So come with me as I get my home ready in tip-top condition for the best price as we prepare for my first open inspection. I'm going to have to take my passion of minimalism to another level. Fresh flowers on all the surface spaces. More fresh flowers. Clearing all my surface spaces so it looks clean, fresh, and inviting. Collapsing baby items so they fit in tight storage spaces. All about efficiency and getting creative. Hiding any valuables like my $2 jar for the $1,000 project. Also, there's nothing like an early morning phone call from your real estate agent, wondering if it'd be okay if they bring someone over right now to see your house. I've got all of Tom's crap, which I've got to get rid of. I've got some serious decluttering to do, and I'm in my dressing gown. So I'm like a headless chicken trying to do this. All this crap is going in Tom's car, so it's out of the house. Tom actually cannot physically fit anything more in his car. More of Tom's crap. Just doesn't ever stop. See what I have to live with? The crap and clutter in Tom's car. Challenges of being minimalist. We have painters here. I'm in my dressing gown. This is really awkward. Even the little details like filling up my pumps, they look new and fresh. This smells so nice. <laughs> Ta-da! How much better does that look? One very important thing, make sure all the toilet seats are clean, obviously, but down. Better. And of course, don't forget those little touches like candles in the bathroom. To set the scene. It is all happening here this morning. It's also so hot in here. Now don't worry, I'm not throwing these out. I'm just putting them away for the time being. I have done some serious decluttering. If this house doesn't sell, I'm gonna throw the towel in. Making sure that no surfaces are excessively cluttered. The cleaner and tidier, the better. The more appealing to a potential buyer. Already better. All beds should look warm and inviting, like a luxurious hotel. Excessive products also removed. Oh, and making sure the labels are facing the right way. Filling up more bottles. Ta-da! Looks so much better. Removing more excess clutter and personal items. Neatly organized storage. People need to be able to see that we have plenty of storage and that you can live in a clean, functioning, organized way in this home. Making sure linen is neatly presented. Kind of like a hotel, but how much better does that look? Cupboards looking neat, tidy, and organized. How good. 
I love it when it's like this. It makes me feel so happy. More personal clutter to remove. Next up, making sure each room is neat, tidy and organized, but you can see the function of the room. So making sure that Apple's cot looks neat, tidy and presentable so someone can imagine their baby being in here. And like my office area and desk space, making sure all the surfaces are clean, tidy so that someone feels inspired to maybe work from here. Hiding any valuables, like my $2 jar for the $1,000 project. Removing any personal items like photos, sentimental knickknacks, those sorts of things. These have to go. Someone needs to be able to look at this place and imagine themselves living in it. Same goes for excess books. A few books on a bedside table, perfectly fine, but not as many as this. It looks cluttered. Fresh clean linen on the beds. This is a serious workout. I definitely don't need to feel bad about not being able to go to the gym this morning. Wardrobe looking neat, tidy and organized and harmoniously color coordinated from light to dark, from light to dark. Even my storage up the top is looking neat and tidy. So my hour of power has been incredibly effective in getting my house ready for my first open inspection. I've worked up a sweat, I've burnt lots of calories, and now I'm simply spraying some room spray or perfume so that the house feels even fresher and delightful. Fingers crossed, I sell quickly. Oh!